This is Skyler. Skyler is a stuntman in the film industry. You've probably seen him on lots of shows and never even known it. Anyway, we're going to start off by um, focusing on his face. So I'm going to select the area of his face. It's just going to do that. And right away, if I hold the sensitivity down here, that's where it's retouched all the spots on his face. Uh, we're going to press apply. And I could make this on a mask layer if I want. Next thing we're going to add to this is once again from the retouch for me, I'm going to go into the uh, clean backdrop. Because this backdrop um, had some atmosphere in it, that's haze and smoke, if you've never shot with that before, and, uh, and it's backlit, there's going to be some areas that are in the background that are kind of misty and foggy and a little saucy here you can just see the outline of some of this smoke or stuff actually literally on the backdrop and you get three options here big dirt medium dirt and small dirt all right we are almost done here and let's just take a good look at some of these areas here where i think for some stuff and you know what i kind of like it i'm just going to take out a little bit of this so we use the eraser i'll bring the size up to 100 just going to take out some of this here and just along this seam i believe that's it let's see this yeah, that's much better. Happy with all this wrinkles in his jacket here. I mean, this really did a great job. And the blend of this as well, you can bring down, you know, as well like this, which is nice, but I think at 100, it's going to be just fine. And uh, just let me check the bottom here while I was at it. Yeah, there's just a couple of spots on his knees and stuff here. And it's just, maybe I'll just bring that down a little bit. Yeah, perfect. I'm going to press apply. All right, so now we've got the backdrop cleaned. Uh, let's section, actually, let's not just do his face. Let's go into their uh, wonderful dodge and burn. You can see it has auto here and then a close up, medium, and full body sh uh, shot. When it's seated, I either detect the middle, just leave it on auto or use the middle one. All right, the blend's at 100% now, or 100, but it actually gives you 200. So let's see how that looks. And let's get the original. I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can see this. There we go, just center on the face, and original. After. As you can see, areas on his forehead, anywhere it looks a little shadowy where it might be dented, for lack of a better term, it's going to just kind of clean up those areas, and it lessened this line on his face, which I'm happy with as well. All right, a couple more here. We're going to go to retouch for me. Now, I haven't touched his skin tone. This shot was right at a camera. Uh, it does have a little bit of a greeny tinge to it. Let's have a look. So here, blended 100. Let's look at... Uh, a little closer of before and after before after so now we're going to use something um, called portrait volumes here and uh, this is a great plugin wow so that was pretty fast and once again it defaults to a hundred down a little lower all right I'm gonna press apply there we'll take a look so now I have a, a layer copy down here so we'll see from the before and after uh, good look here before after you can really notice the difference on his face and that's the thing about you know retouching in my opinion anyways it should be so subtle you almost don't know that it's happening I wanted to take a look here at his suit because he is hunched over and the back of his jacket here this little flap I think what we can do is clean up his posture a little bit there's also on the inside of his elbow this little bump here and we're gonna open up liquify I'm just gonna just clear up his posture here just a little bit. I guess you could argue if I'm straightening his back out, it'll make his shoulders appear to be bigger, but he is a real big muscular dude. So yeah, just want to square that line down. And I've shot a lot of suit ads before. And you know, one of the notes that they always come back with is they really want to make sure that it's uh, um, clean looking, you know, that it's a, uh, here we go. The lines are clean, geometry, just like architectural stuff. Let me go in here a little bigger. And mostly, it's not distracting. If something jumps out to you as a retoucher and your eye goes there, well, then it's probably an issue. There we go. So now we can see we've got a much more clean line here. I'll show you before and after. I'm going to go through and do some dodging and burning. Uh, a little bit of light effects over here on the side and i'll show you guys the uh the final edit now if you like this video please like and subscribe and if you're interested in the retouch for me plugins uh they did send them to me for free but i'm not paid by them this is my honest opinion as a professional commercial photographer uh, but if you want to try them out you can see the uh 
promo code Andrew Gerard 20 uh, and I'll leave a link in the description. Have a great day.